Hi everyone, in this series of videos we're going to draw a house using AutoCAD 2024 and for reference we will be using a set of drawings. This is stage one of the floor plan showing the room layouts for a ground floor and a first floor plan. Once you have AutoCAD open I suggest starting a new template so let's just browse and ensure we check which one we're using. ACAD ISO template file is the one that I recommend. And once we have that open, we can turn off the grid and then save the file. So I'm just going to save this to my OneDrive folder and call it AutoCAD 2024 videos, just so that I know this is a file I'm using for this. Next, we will create a new layer and we'll call it GA Layouts. This is the layer we'll use to add the room layouts to. Let's make it red in color and for the line weight, we will choose 0.18 millimeters and make the layer current. Now we can close the palette. So following the plan already shown on the screen, we can just draw some rectangles. The ground floor plan is fairly straightforward. So the first rectangle is 2000 by 3500. At this stage, you may need to zoom out a little or use the middle mouse button. Let's just move it up away from the UCS a little. And then the next room layout can be drawn in relation to this. So we can hover over the endpoint and move the cursor up to get a temporary tracking point. The walls for the internal walls are going to be 100 millimeters, so we need a space of 100 millimeters there. Uh, the next rectangle needs to be 2000 by 2100. And the one on top of that Again, using the tracking point here, it needs to be 2000 by 2600. From the bottom left hand side, then we can track at that point over 100 millimeters. And the rectangle for this room is 3800 by 4100. And then the final one for the ground floor can be drawn. 100 millimeters up from that corner and it needs to be 3800 by 4200. So that's the basic layout for the ground floor. For the first floor then we're going to just draw a line uh, 10,000 millimeters or 10 meters. That means that if we are needing to copy anything at any point we can do that relative to that size. Now, on your plan, you will see that the next room on the first floor just is not a rectangle. So the other option to do, do, to do the room layouts is to draw a polyline. So we can draw this up by 1,900, or across by 1,100, up again by 1,000. And then with a little bit of simple maths, we can work out that 2,000 millimeters is needed there. And then we can track down to this point. And at this stage, sometimes it's best just to type C and hit enter on the keyboard to close off the rectangle. The next shape can be tracked from these two points, hopefully. So it's across by 1,000, down by 900, cross by the same distance again, and we can close that one off. I'll draw one more at this stage. Just make sure you get the correct point up by 100. 
this, uh, this rectangle needs to be 2,300 by 2,400. We can delete this line. It was only a temporary line. That's three of the spaces drawn so far. Once you've added in the other layouts for the first floor, your drawing should look like this. Just double check that you've got all dimensions correctly. And then once we've done that, we can go into the layer properties and we can lock this layer. We don't want to change anything or the dimensions on there. So let's just lock that. And once that's done, that's the layouts finished. And in the next video, we will add the walls.